So a lot of people have this misconception about self-improvement. They think it's just sitting in your room all day long, grinding and grinding and grinding and doing nothing else. Just work on your business, consume your content and going to the gym. But it couldn't be farther from the truth. And me like grinding and going to the gym and everything is a big part of self-improvement. You really need to do those things, but you're lacking a very important aspect. And it is gaining some real life, life experience through the likes of little adventures you go on. And a lot of people don't do this and they see their mental health declining because they're just in their room all day long. And another side effect is that they just get socially retarded. If you're just sitting in your room and grind all day, don't have any social interactions and um, and that's also a big part of self-improvement, like improving your social um, abilities and stuff. So what is a big part of self-improvement is going on little adventures, little things you can do for it. friends, for example, um, to go and get some life experience, to get some social experience and to get your mental health up. And today I have like three little examples you can do to, for like, for adventures you can do. And the first one is that you could go visit a city that's nearby. Just like take the bus or the train or something and go visit with a couple of friends, go visit the, the a city, go have lunch there, uh, maybe go shopping or something do something in the city and just maybe speak to a couple of new persons there. It just going there and taking the bus and the train and stuff, it's just, you get to a completely new environment and it's just a little nice adventure to go on with your friends. And then the second one is that you could go camping. Also like with maybe friends or even with your family, maybe with your parents or something, you could find a nearby camping spot and uh, you could combine this with a hike, for example, just go hiking there and then, then start camping or um, go biking there and go camping or just go camping. Like it's just really a great way to get into nature and to get in contact with the person you get uh, with. Um, don't take your phone, just leave that away. Or maybe just take it, but don't call on your phone too much and just enjoy uh, the moment there. So, and the last and final advice, sort of adventure I can give you is go and get as much fit friends together as possible and plan a huge hike outside a boot camp or a workout or something and make it as hard as possible and just go all out with your friends. And with adventure waiting, you need to go to like an, an other place and in the most cases, you do go to like different, different places, so, but it's not necessarily uh, the truth. Just go, you can um, find a nearby, nearby like um, forest or something and do a huge boot camp there, or maybe just like in someone's backyard or so. Um, it really brings a great sense of like community, a friendship together if you do it like such a huge and um, hard to work out together. So if you've done any of these three, let me know and I hope you learned something today.